What's up, everybody? This is Freddy C, and welcome back to Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown. Let's continue where we left off from the previous gameplay. Now, if you remember at the end of my previous gameplay when I completed a mission called Rescue, I failed to pres... Sorry. I failed to rescue the president of Osea, Mr. Harling, and apparently his aircraft got shot down. And apparently they blame me for it. So, yeah. Now, the mission I'm about to continue with is going to take me to a whole different team with a whole lot of different problems, as you're about to see right now. So let's continue. Yeah, we already saw that cutscene at the end of the last one, so let's just skip that. So here we go, 444. All right, guys, I'll let you in on some juicy info. Mm -hmm. The new guy was found guilty by the International Union Peacekeeping Forces Court Martial. He is the murderer of Harling in the flesh. Oh, please. His tack name's Trigger. Now, as of today, he may be attached to the Ocean Air Force Base 444th Squadron. But that is just some symbolic bullshit. It doesn't really matter if he's Harling's murderer or not. Every last one of you has been incarcerated for one reason or another. Mm -hmm. You cons have an obligation to atone for your crimes. A few of you in the penal unit know how to fly, and HQ needs to plug the deficit in our Air Force. So they proposed sending you guys on a reconnaissance mission to the Waipolo Mountains. But that idea was flat out rejected. Nope. You'll be atoning for your crimes right here at this base. This base is a decoy designed to draw enemy fire. And as members of this base, you'll be taking hits from the enemy. Oh, this yeah, will right. allow our forces to safely prepare a counterattack. Incoming! Switch off that alarm. It's just the usual. I thought Zapland was supposed to be an isolated area. Okay. I'm gonna need a few aircraft to scramble. Solitary. No mini Enemy aircraft no. detected over the dummy runway. We just need to make it look like we can put up a fight. Some of those piles of junk can at least take off. Let's get the guiltiest cons in the sky first. We'll start with Harling's murderer. We don't expect you to down any bombers. But what we do want is to make them think that we've got an active base here. Oh, please. All right, so this one's Operation High Card. It's the 1st of July in this year in a fictitious area called Zapland. It's sunny conditions, very few clouds, yada, 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 yada. So here I am, Trigger, wrongfully convicted of a crime I didn't commit. My new friends are Count, High Roller, Champ, and over there is Full Band and Tabloid, along with some other Spare Squadron dudes. My primary targets are... TU-95s and TU-160s, but they've got MiGs and SUs as escorts. So, all I have to do is take them down. Since this is an air-to-air -air mission, I've got the perfect aircraft for this one. And since they say hunk of junk, well, guess what? There's one aircraft I never consider a hunk of junk. I'm gonna go with this aircraft. Yep, the F-14, baby. <laughs> yeah, where are the spare stripes? There we go. Uh, I'm gonna choose ooh the eight air-to-air -air missiles. If you remember the F-16 that I flew in the very first mission, it had four. Well, this one could shoot eight. So, let's take it to the skies with this baby. It's time to get busy, convicts. Proceed with your mission now. Oh, shut up. <laughs> you're going to find out that you're wrong about me, one way or another. I know whoever took down the guy in the last mission was a drone. And it was definitely an enemy drone. Follow orders, Trigger. Taxi to the runway now. Check your altimeter and wait in front of the runway. 
Patrol, would you kindly send me up first? Spare Champ, this is the control tower. You're not cleared for takeoff. Obey orders. Go to hell. All aircraft preparing for takeoff. Watch out for Spare 8. He's forcing a takeoff. I'll take up command. Any objections? That'll get decided in the skies. <laughs> Too shit. Trigger your call sign to Spare 15. Consider it your prisoner number for the air. Right. Domestic deception and interception. Spare 15, the runway's free. You have permission to take off. Go now. My blood's boiling! Toss the chump in solitary once he gets back. Spare 8, when you land, your ass is grass. Spare 15, take off confirmed. Altitude restriction lifted. Go. So, no missiles again. The FCS is locked. Damn, you're good. Let's make this more interesting. Prisoners use nothing without supervision. Not even a pencil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here comes Harling's murderer. He shot two missiles right between old Harling's eyes. Uh, always in the know, aren't you? <laughs> in this war, intel is a life or death matter. Nicole. Settle down. Nicole. Excited to have another murderer with you? Yeah. Oh, quit calling me that. This is Bandog. Spare 15, I'm handling Nicole. surveillance. The bombers that attacked the runway are coming back for another round. I know it's just a dummy runway. I just need to make a lot of noise. Make them think there's fighters at the base. Anyone got a smoke? I'll owe you one. If any of you die, just think of it as you atoning for your crimes. Much appreciated. <laughs> one more thing. Any aircraft leaving the operation area will be shot down. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. Better evade. Spinning around! Look at that. Blow up a bunch of paper blades. The enemy seems to think our air force is concentrated on this base. Come on, baby. This fake. Can't the enemy see that? Means they're that convincing. Yes, the enemy just hit the control tower. Hey, what's with all the shaking? There's smoke! Not let the enemy get closer. Are you trying to kill me? Shall I order them to shoot down all? Yeah. Commander. Commander McKinsey? Damn it! Spare squadron, listen up. Shoot down everything carrying bombs. Thank you. And you hit me? Money done by now to make the odds. Wanna bet which one of us gets the first kill trigger? Kill starts. This is the first. It counts going I decide when you die. Time right. to lock on. All aircraft support me. Who's gonna dance to your life? Now! I'll show you all how it's done. Spare 15, bandit splashed. Oh Trigger. yeah. Keep an eye on your head count. We can compare later. <laughs> yeah, I'm betting that report will get dressed up real pretty to do this work. Anyone Head to the next target. Tonight? Radar pinged. Incoming hostile group detected. Take care of them. Right out here. A bomber's at high altitude. Stop watching your own asses and look up. Allow me to educate you. In this unit, you get your tail marked with scratches. The more scratches, the more heinous the crime. They're called sin lines. You have three scratches, right, Trigger? Well, you are Harling's murderer. No, I'm not. I missed. Can't focus on those guys right now. I gotta take out those bombers. There you are. Sorry, I got lucky. Hang on a minute. Let me loop around and get from behind.
that far. Target's that slow, aren't you? Don't let it go to your head. Bandits inbound. They got bombers and support. All aircraft follow me. You too, murderer. Oh, stop calling me that. Trigger, don't get shut down now. I got good money riding on your survival. <laughs> Some guys have got big money riding on you going down, so watch your back. Spare seven, shut up. You have to pull the trigger. Trigger again! Don't get excited. It's beginner's luck. Crap! Say goodbye to that aircraft. Oh no! The targets are still active. Keep up the attack. What the hell are you doing? Are you? Wilco, Commander McKenzie, please maintain silence for the moment. I can't see him. Oh, wait, there he is. Trying to find the dang aircraft. Take this. Ah, I'm hit. Yeah, yeah. You have permission to land. Wind conditions are calm. 3,000 meters. Too fast. Lower your airspeed. Lower your nose. You're too high. 1,500 meters. Heading is good. Stay on course. trigger don't forget oh please Spare 15. you skip all that man that was a lot of maneuvering I did but at least all targets are down did I say you could take down the enemy throw anyone who disobeys into solitary 
Excuse me, but I saved your life there, buddy. How about lightening the hell up? Oh, a new nickname. Looks like I broke the record. All right, next mission. Mihai's granddaughters like to keep to themselves mostly. They were well behaved and possessed a sort of quiet elegance. Mm hmm. From time to time, I'd catch myself looking at them, wondering what they were talking about. I'm sure everyone on the base did the same. They were such enthralling creatures. Every night, a crowd would gather around Mihai. They were the men tasked with guarding him in the air. Their jackets all bore the same patch, a relic from a nation that was long gone. Hmm. Decades ago, during the Age of Expansion, the Kingdom of Erugia absorbed many countries. Theirs was one of them. Mihai asked them, Yet what is a nation? Can we actually see the physical lines that divide one from another? People of my generation can no longer speak the language of our homeland. My grandparents always look sad when they see I have no idea what they're saying to me. Mihai didn't say a word after that. His scarred face betrayed no emotion. He didn't get those scars from flying, though. Mihai was originally from Shalaji. His real name is Mihai Dimitru Margarita Cornelio Leopold Blanca Carol Aeon Ignatius Raphael Maria Nikitas A. Shalaji. That's a mouthful. When he was young, he was the heir to the Grand Duchy of Shalaji. Then, revolution broke out among his people. Mihai was betrayed by a close friend who pointed a gun at his face and pulled the trigger. Ouch. The revolution was successful, but the new country that sprang from it was annexed by the expanding kingdom of Arusia. Mm. The Arusian royal family allowed Mihai's family to retain their title and noble standing in the new kingdom. But Mihai surprised them all by signing up for the draft like an ordinary Arusian citizen. He was then accepted into the Air Force Academy by order of the king. Mihai soon became an ace pilot. When the royal family was ousted and Arugia became a republic, he continued his service for the new regime. Hmm. Test sites soon flourished. One day, a classmate of Mihai's granddaughter visited. I noticed the rose emblem. The princess. She laughed like a princess. And I found out later, she was indeed the daughter of Arugia's new ruler. She was the connection to the royal bloodline everyone was looking for, the one to restore the monarchy. This new princess was truly a godsend for the Arugian people. Hmm. If Mihai's granddaughters were like the moon, she was like the sun, around which everything seemed to orbit. Her face was so expressive. It's no wonder the people of this war-torn country instantly felt at ease when they saw her speeches. Hmm. They started singing. The pilots of the support plane smiled, even though they wished their nation were independent from hers. Angelic. I wonder how Mihai felt about all of this. Hmm. It was my job to research his neurological data, after all. I wish I could figure him out. Whatever his feelings were about losing his homeland, he kept hidden. Even from me. Well, can you blame him? I mean, honestly. All right, here we go. Long day. Your mission is to atone for your crimes by attracting the enemy's attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, I want you to head from the base to the desert region of Roca Roja to the northwest. 
and then second, you will attack the large Arusian base there. We've been unable to verify that base's ability to deal with fighters. You will attack and provoke the enemy into revealing their AA strategy. Get them to fire at you as much as you can. That way, we can confirm where they're firing from. Then it's a case of sending in a regular force to clean them out. For this mission, we prepared a frontline base that could be used for ammo replenishment and aircraft repairs. However, this is not for you guys. Only the regular force has permission to use it. Even if you run out of ammo, don't forget that you're just decoys. You stay out there as targets for the enemy. Oh, please. Alright, so this one is Operation One Pair. We're heading to Roca Roja. Sunny conditions, few clouds. Alright, I'm going in with Count, Full Band, High Roller, Tamp. Uh, sorry, did I say Tamp? I meant to say Champ. <laughs> Tabloid. <laughs> and, and four allies. God, I can't believe I screwed that guy's name up. Alright, um, the targets are a lot of ground targets and very few air targets. Hmm. Oh, and guys, just a quick heads up. If you think the cutscenes in the campaign are a little too long, in the comments section, I'll put like highlighted times for you to click on so you could just skip straight to the mission. If, if you feel bored with the cutscenes, just giving you a heads up. So, here we go. Normally, since this is a ground attack, I would normally pick the A-10. But it's got really slow speed. It's got a lot of mobility. It's not meant for air to air. It's mostly air to ground. I'm going to have to pick a different one. So, once again, looks like I'm going in the Strike Eagle. I'm definitely picking this one. Let's sortie. Aircraft preparations complete. Stand by at the front. Yep. All right, here we go. Let's kick off Operation One Pair. Now, I'm mostly going to focus on the ground targets. So you're going to see plenty of explosions. Unless I'm flying too fast. But here we go. Some welcome. All aircraft, spread out and attack. We're clear to attack, right? I heard the regular forces were gonna clean things up. It's just like before. We blow the shit out of everything. Sharp as attack, aren't you, Spare Aid? Regular forces can reduce losses if you tenderize the base first. If you can't handle that, just fly and be a target. <laughs> Yeah. The vehicles have been taken out. Move on to the next target. You're our official flight. 
Showed you that, but time to blast the hell out of them. Spare fifteen bombs away. APC down. Oh, looks like we got some choppers in the sky. Easy targets. Not bad. Rock on. Fox 2. Rock on. Rock on. Get out of there. Dang right. Target destroyed. Boom, baby. Got a couple flares left. Kind of trying to make you guys let you guys see that. Oop, hang on. Got a couple of Harriers in the sky. Like hell. Now the base commander makes a big deal whenever a new mission comes in. But it's just one after another. Like that was the plan all along or something. Battle doctrines. Something happens, they tell you what to do next. OCI has one. The problem says where and when pawns like us will die. You mean they already know the next strategy? Hold up, hold up. Let's make a bet. Whoever guesses the next strategy wins. You can get in on this too, Van Dog. Maybe you guys need to cool your heads off in solitary. Let me look into this doctrine thing. Live is all you need to look into a terminal. It's amazing how many people write their password on a note by their desk. Gathering intel is all about getting access. You really are good at murdering people, Trigger. Too easy for someone to switch to the president's ex presidents. So, what's the difference? Whatever, you still got three sit lines. 
That's one Harrier down. And a Chopper down. Oh yeah, aircraft annihilator, baby. Don't know if you guys saw that, but I just heard a trophy. targets over here. Kaboom, baby. Drones. They're drones. These must be the infamous drones. They can dogfight without pilot? Machines are not replacing humans. Calm down. They're just obstacles in the way. Don't forget your original mission. It's bad enough just dealing with the surface. My last flare. Another man down. There's no point. Retreat. Follow your orders. Continue the operation. The servers will be punished. I'm hit. I'm hit. My aircraft. I says I ain't in a fight. You want to lose all your pilots? Shut up. Try to stop me. Someone help me out here. <laughs> I'm getting behind Traeger. Stick with the best if you want to survive. If anyone wants to die, let him. Poor decision on your part. I've still got top score. Gotta pull up, pull up, pull up.
Okay, screw this. I'm going after the MIGs. Skillful flying. Fox two. Confirm kill on AA gun. Well, if you find straight, you'll get hit. Whew, that was close. See how many I could take down. We didn't evade that one. Air to air combat till time runs out. No, thank you. I'd rather head back to base. Whew. Well, that took a while. But man, that was some really great flying. You lost planes, but the mission succeeded. Hmm. However, some of you cross the return line for supplies and for repairs. This will result in solitary. Take them. Well, look at that. Two trophies and one gameplay. Am I good or am I good? I got an S rank on this one. S is pretty good. Look at that. I got gold ace. And look at that. One or more new skins for the SC-57, which I did not unlock. Not yet. Now, is there another cutscene, or... I'll give it a shot. Nope, it's just another mission. 
Tell you what, we're just gonna we're just gonna skip that briefing for now, and I'm gonna end this gameplay real quick. Yeah. Let's go to the aircraft tree real quick, see how many points I have, because I really feel like unlocking some stuff. Okay. Crap, I don't have enough for that. I really want to unlock this YF-23, but as you can see, I'm like way below 150,000 points to, to unlock it. But at least I got the Raptor, the Lightning, and ooh, this one's gonna be real impossible to unlock. Let's see, what else? SU-57, what do I have to unlock in order to do this? I gotta unlock this thing? And then I get that one. Okay. Right. Yeah. So for the next gameplay, I will definitely continue with that mission first contact. But until then, this is this is the end of the next gameplay that I have just done for Ace Combat 7. So I'm going to take a breather for a little bit, but don't worry. There will be another gameplay of Ace Combat 7 coming very soon. I want to thank you guys for watching this. And if you guys thought that this was some really skill flying, please let me know in the comments section below. And also, like I said after one of the cutscenes, if you think that the cutscenes are too long in this gameplay, well, I just want to let you guys know. The cutscenes in the campaign are included and they can actually reveal what has been going on throughout the storyline. So you got to include the cutscenes. But I will throw in a couple of uh, highlighted times. Like when my next mission is going to start. How many minutes and how many seconds that actually takes it to the mission. Okay? So if you feel like you need to skip the cutscene, all you got to do is just click on the highlighted times. And it will take you to whatever mission that the times start on. But other than that, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next gameplay. And until I take it to the skies once again, this is Freddy C. signing off.